Well, one mom says the struggle trying to find the health care, affordable health care, she knows that her kids need. Yeah, most state lawmakers agree that North Carolina really should expand Medicaid coverage to more low income people, but that has not happened. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland live in Raleigh tonight with a closer look at why that is. Michael. Well, the General Assembly is technically back in session, but there are no votes this week and no agreement on how the state should expand Medicaid. Some people came here today frustrated. That still hasn't happened. How sweet. Each face, someone gone too soon. Build me up of memory. There are people from across North Carolina who lived without health coverage and died, leaving their families wondering if they could have been saved. Courtney Crudup has been with and without health coverage for herself and her kids for years. I would be so sick sometimes, and I would cry myself to sleep at night because I knew that I couldn't afford it. When she qualified for Medicaid, she told me it made a huge difference. My kids were able to get, get glasses. They were able to um, get their teeth done and clean, um, myself as well. After years of opposition, Republican leaders in the General Assembly recently passed bills that would expand Medicaid coverage to more than half a million people. But they left Raleigh with no agreement on exactly how that should happen. A few came back to Raleigh Tuesday, but still with no deal. There remains a window to get something done, but uh, uh, quite frankly, as long as the hospitals uh, remain as intransigent as they are, I don't see that we're going to make any progress. Republican Senate leader Phil Berger wants other reforms that hospital leaders say could increase costs and make care less accessible in rural areas. The House never took up that bill, instead wanting the state to negotiate a deal with the federal government first to try to ensure the state can afford the long-term cost. We've all agreed that it's a good idea with the parameters that were put in place, so I think we ought to do it. I think if we don't, it's a missed opportunity. State health officials say that timing is an issue here. The federal government has offered an incentive of more than a billion dollars up front to North Carolina as one of the few states that has not expanded Medicaid. It's not clear how much longer that's going to be on the table. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.